Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Zybez, and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to get Command & Conquer Generals and Zero Hour able to hook up into a LAN network. Many of you who have asked questions on my older CNC Generals Fix for Windows 7 2014 video have been asking me, well how do I get my Command & Conquer to hook up to a, a LAN network because obviously the multiplayer servers have been taken down. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how. First thing you want to do is you want to join a network and as you can see I've got my network uh, map created right here I have two separate computers hooked up to a router and they're hooked up to the internet and you want to make sure that you're connected under a home network setting now once that's created what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and then you want to go to my uh, go to the control panel up in the right hand corner of the screen there is a search bar what you want to do is you want to type in home go to the home group section and once inside of the home group section, most computers create a home group naturally by themselves. But in order to join a separate home group, you need to actually go to this window and there'll be a join home group section right here for the computer that you want to join your network. And what they do is they click this button and it'll bring up a second window that says it requires a password. The person who's hosting the home group, this computer screen right here, what you want to do is you want to type, uh, you want to click this button view or print the home group password. You want to click this and it will give you the password that the opposing computer needs to put in and then they will be able to join your home group. Now once that's done uh, there is a firewall setting that you need to actually configure so I'll show you how to do that as well. So down at the start menu under control panel at the very bottom there is a Windows firewall. You want to end up opening this up and then up at the top it'll say allow a program or feature through the Windows firewall. You want to click that and then if you go down to the uh, C's right here Command & Conquer Generals First Decade I mean Command & Conquer First Decade or Command & Conquer Generals or whichever EXE you're wanting to allow through the, uh, through the uh, firewall. Now if it's not here if your file is not in this giant list what you want to do is you want to go to change settings and then you want to go to allow another program and you want to browse and find that separate program and then you'll hit add and then you'll tick it and then you'll click OK and then once that's done everything should be pretty much set up and you want to run command and conquer so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that screen as you can see now we're inside of command and conquer generals I've muted the sound for convenience and what you want to do is you want to go over to the option setting and make sure that your IPs are set up according to the network. Now you can hit the drop down arrow and end up going to uh, different IPs if you end up having them. But you want to use the IPs that are connected with the home group. So you're going to hit accept and then you're going to go over to the multiplayer settings and then you're going to hit network. And as you can see I have already have a game going. Xandalyn is on the computer next to me and you're going to click join game and as you can see now we are set up to actually start playing a game so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this was Mr. Zybez signing off